Okay, I am rushing out to the dermatologist, hoping to get my Dupixent shot this morning. I think there are two. It's, I don't like shots. <laughs> I was a nurse for 17 years and that's, I did a ton of flu shots, etc. I'm just not a fan. I tried to look online to see where they give it, if they give it in the arm or in the bum. I just, I just need to be rearing to go for tennis tonight. It's our last match. So I'll keep you posted. All right, I'm home from the doctor's office. I ran to Walmart and got a couple goodies, which I will be sharing here shortly. But this is the information that the eye doctor gave me and I'm wondering what my <laughs> what my ophthalmologist was thinking. I explained to the dermatologist exactly what was going on and I said that my ophthalmologist wanted me to get a Dupixent injection. It got very quiet in the room and then the dermatologist said one of the biggest side effects of Dupixent is ocular inflammation. So I wouldn't suggest Dupixent, which makes me wonder what my ophthalmologist was thinking, like what her line of thinking was when this could cause even more eye inflammation. I, I'm pondering. I feel like sometimes doctors don't know what to do next, so they kind of push you off to the next doctor. And I'm not saying that this, this is happening in this, this situation, but it makes me wonder if you're an ophthalmologist, which is a specialist for eyes and you're suggesting a medication that can make your eyes more inflamed. So do I believe the dermatologist more than I do the ophthalmologist? I don't know. Anyway, I do have a whole list of information from the dermatologist, which was very informative. This is what she told me, and I found this very informative, and it sounded very familiar because I think I got a lot of these suggestions from you. She said, no candles, Febreze, incense, perfume, diffusers, any type of laundry, laundry detergent that has anything in it. So I haven't burnt my candle for quite a while. I will stop wearing my perfume, etc. So check off the top. Then she said the only thing that I should be washing my face, moisturizing, et cetera, is by this company. It's Vanna Cream. It's a daily facial moisturizer. It is free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, and formaldehyde releasers. Non, I don't know that word. It's too big for me. <laughs> and gluten-free. So I bought some facial wash, some day moisturizer with SPF, and then something for night. She also said, no makeup on my face unless it's by Alme, Laura Mercier, and Bare Minerals. And then she gave me this little nugget of information, which my ophthalmologist said, do not use anything with preservatives in it, eye drops. My ophthalmologist keeps saying, don't buy anything with preservatives in it. But when I went to the dermatologist, they said even the preservative-free eye drops can have something called benzylconium chloride in it, which is, I think, very inflammatory to your eyes. And I looked, the Patidae, the Cromelin, and I think the steroids all have that in it. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know. She suggested I stop them all. You can't stop steroids like that, so that's a no-no. But she said the other two, the allergy medicines, she said stop those. <laughs> I don't know about that.
So on a lighter note, I found some more raffia from Walmart. I found a couple of cute things from Walmart that I will be sharing. And something is back in stock. If you are wanting it, grab it. I came across something very, very funny, and it reminded me of when I was a single mom. I worked a full-time job, and then I worked every other weekend when I didn't have my children. And around Christmas time, I was very careful with my money because I wanted to make sure the kids got what they wanted and then what they needed. What they needed was more important than what they want. So I started naming <laughs> the Christmases were called essential Christmases. You got the essentials with one want. And when I saw this... It cracked me up. I remember the next Christmas, after the first essential Christmas, <laughs> my oldest one said, is this going to be another essential Christmas? Because that was so boring. I said, yeah, it, it is. So I sent him that little picture I shared with you just before this. And uh, yeah, I think it brought back some memories. The first thing I wanted to share with you, this is a sweater I got at Walmart. And I'm telling you the quality of this sweater is amazing. It is the softest, most comfortable sweater. Only bad part is it's sold out online in my area. That doesn't mean it's not sold out in your area or it's not available in your store. But this is a size medium. It's winter white. It has a high neck. It's not a it's not a cow neck. It's just a high neck. And I love it. I wish I could find it in all the colors. Again, this is a size medium. When I was at my sister's over the weekend, I shared these pants with you they're back in stock. Walmart is stocked up with these. I saw them and I had to grab them in black. If you're looking for a buttery, super soft, nice pair of joggers, these are it. Not only do I love the buttery softness of these pants, but I absolutely love the waistband. It has a drawstring. It also has two pockets and it has a wide cuff around the ankle. They are true to size. I'm wearing a small, and if you're gonna grab the pants, I would grab the hoodie as well. It's the same buttery softness. It has the hood, the drawstrings, and it has a pocket with the wide cuffs around the wrists. These are my favorite pants, and I might have to go back for pair number three. So on a lighter note, I did find more raffia at Walmart. The only thing, <laughs> it's not the same color. I have probably, I don't know, a third of the wreath done. So I'm just gonna mess with it. And I think actually by blending these two colors together, I think, I think that might look even better. So. That's coming up, Manya. 